the occasion of the book, which is uh, really a Do serve. We, can we move? Is that? Uh, well, uh, you can move forward if you like. I think, I think they're all right. All right, OK. If, As you are. If you feel like moving forward to do so, you don't have to. If you sit in the front, then, like, then we love you more, but it's fine. Just sit at the back, it's fine. We love you still at the back, it's good. We need, we need, the, we need the warmth, you know. That's it. The book uh, surveys over 20 years of Gavin Turk's career. Its appearance is a good um, stimulus to, uh, uh, for me to ask uh, Gavin some questions about decisions that he's made over the years and uh, he might be able to answer them or he might wish to answer them less directly. Uh, in a minute, I'll ask some of them. Uh, in the meantime, I'd like to provide some context for those questions. One is uh, perhaps addressing the bigger picture and one is more detailed. So on the level of the bigger picture, I would say that uh, observing Gavin's work over the years, as I have done, I've noticed, as many of you will have done, that there are several themes, a cluster of themes that recur. They don't always recur to the same level of strength with each work. And sometimes some of the themes seem to fade down and others fade up to be more emphasized. But I would say in no particular order, those themes are perhaps uh, authenticity, meaning, modernity, uh, the history of modern art, the question of whether modern art is a, a currency or a sort of archaism, whether it still exists, uh, identity, if I've already mentioned it, but the particular take on identity might be where does the artist stand in relation to this question? Is the artist testing art, testing modern art and modern art's fallout, contemporary art, testing them as, as, if, as if to interrogate them, to ask if they still exist or if it's possible to be an artist or if one is an artist, what would it mean to be an artist with this fragmented tradition at one's disposal? So given that art appears a lot in Gavin's art, the theme of repetition is another important element with all its attendant amusements and anxieties. One sees things that one recognizes vaguely or precisely from the history of art recurring in Gavin's own art. One sometimes sees different things from art hybridized into one thing. One also sees objects that he's made which uh, perhaps set off a whole chain of associations as if one was being invited to imagine um, uh, ghosts of ideas or to recall ghosts of ideas and then it'll turn out a few years down the line Gavin himself addresses those ideas which one thought oneself alone had had so meaning, modernity, art, authenticity, the artist, identity. And then every now and again, a subset, one might say, of identity, nationalism pops up. A sort of, certainly uh, a concern of the English or the British, the concern of class. Class, nationalism, national identity personal identity, artistic identity, authenticity. Authenticity is often signaled as a theme in his work by the artist's signature. Sometimes Gavin's signature, his own signature, sometimes the identity of Marcel Broder's or other artists' signatures that he's appropriated or made into art. So I would say that's a fairly good survey of the main themes that um, uh, seem to go into Gavin's work over the years. I'd like to turn now to a certain set of works and to attend to those works, to my own impressions of those works. And they happen to be works which hopefully many of you in the room now will have seen over the last few days in the show. And they're at the uh, David Nolan stand. Uh, I believe they are quite recent. Yeah. It's a work that appears to be a, a car exhaust pipe in a vitrine. 
uh, and is in fact a, a bronze cast of an exhaust pipe, which has then been beautifully painted to resemble, so that its surface resembles that of an actual car exhaust pipe with a sort of spattered handling. One then sees something like that handling in the set of drawings that have, that have been made by applying uh, what emits from a car exhaust onto a sheet of white paper. So they come out in a sort of explosive spatter uh, in a circular sort of form in the middle of a, a white space. One also sees uh, two very large, rather glossy photos of what appears to be uh, smoke uh, assembling itself as if by magic into almost human forms. And one thinks of um, Picasso drawing with light, perhaps uh, human figures drawn with open, loose brush strokes by de Kooning perhaps of the uh, experiments in conjuring up imagery that one associates with the period of surrealism. All of those things uh, echo in the mind seeing those images. And between this whole set of works, one enjoys, and one is puzzled enjoyably <coughs> by, and one ruminates on possible connections. Uh, and then one thinks perhaps of... Uh, Anxiety about ecology, uh, what, a, what car emissions and emissions mean now, uh, what um, uh, one can pursue all sorts of avenues of, of thoughts in different directions which go very, very far away from some of the other works and yet seem to resonate a lot with the car theme. So you've got the human body, surrealism, cars, and then somehow you're returned um, to a connection between the car and the body on the level of imagery. Um, one thinks of, I, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm giving you such a good picture of this stuff, it, it may be that some of you haven't seen it, but that object in the vitrine has a sort of association of a, a human body itself, particularly if one thinks of Francis Bacon's uh, famous triptych, the studies at the base of a crucifixion, where one seeing sort of Picasso-like 1920s and 30s forms um, appearing in Bacon imagery, uh, now reappearing by uh, the action of the memory, the memory of art. Uh, there's, there's seeming to be some um, connection. There needn't be, it could just be um, a car exhaust, but of course, it, since it, it isn't a car exhaust, it is a bronze cast, one is invited to let the imagination wander freely where it will. One also sees the surface that the car exhaust is on, it's a sort of, looks like a canvas, expensive canvas linen, as if it's a deconstructed painting as if that's the painting surface, there's the image in the painting, that's the, the car, exhaust, stroke, human body, and then the vitrine, uh, returning to the Bacon connection, I could say it's like those um, rectangular structures that appear in Bacon, Bacon paintings, where typically you'll get something nasty and grotesque writhing in something sheer and rectangular. So you've got all these associations of art, the body, cars, and a certain sort of magical element to art, a conjuring up of images and ideas. I, of course, associate those things with Gavin, but I also think that um, what's happening in that work is a, a very fresh manifestation of those themes. So one could trace trace them back through works that he'd done 10 years ago or 15 years ago or 20 years ago. And here they are uh, arriving uh, in, in a renewed way. So I'd like to um, ask you now, Gavin, <laughs> if you... Do I have if, to do something now? 
I was getting so into that. But. Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'd like to really ask sweet. you now, if you could <laughs> give the uh, suggest an origin for that set of works today in your own work. Um, in the, in the history of your own work, how it how it gets there. Well, I mean, the, I think that one of the things, obviously, is 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 to do with like this is not a pipe like uh, like in a way like you talked about it being like a deconstructed painting and actually like this gray canvas like actually kind of in a way like sets the stage for this is not a you know city nest power and people like like the idea that that you that that art is art is almost not it's not what you see you like you can't you can't actually see it it's like it's it's always something um something else like like the more you look the more the 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 thing that you're looking at kind of is, escapes away mm -hmm. and um and i think that um it i mean it also like the painted bronze thing d did come originally for me it came from me looking at uh, Jasper Johns's beer mm -hmm. cans and looking at the idea of painted bronze as a, as a, as a kind of a way of casting something in a very, in, in, you know, in a very, um, <clears throat> in a, and, I, and I suppose it's a kind of a, a human, you know, the Bronze Age or whatever. It's like a sort of like a, a point of, it's like the point of civilization or something where we, where we, would, where we would cast something into bronze, but then, then the idea of casting something that's, uh, that's a, a sort of a base thing. I mean, for me, like the idea of casting like a, an exhaust pipe, which I've just found on the road because it was so broken that it couldn't actually go back onto the car. Um, and it was made of m different kinds of metal so that it couldn't actually be recycled that, that easily. Mm -hmm. um, like kind of meant that there was this kind of process of casting and using the process of casting to recreate something which was about uh, a heat, heat exche exchanging, exchanging, exchanging of energy. And, and, and so then suddenly like it did start to kind of register for me like a, 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 on a kind of a Joseph Boyce level of, of, of an, a kind of an object which might form an, an, an analogous symbol which, which talks about, uh, which talks about a, a, a way that, um, a way that, that energy, that, that human, in a way like human activity yeah. like gets transferred and becomes something else. And, and, there, and there was this sort of like sense of, 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 of trying to, I suppose trying to kind of catch Trying to catch this elusive, in a way, like a, a sort of elusive moment. It's almost like the moment of, of the moment that something is being thrown away. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. at that moment where something is being thrown away, uh, uh, somehow a lot of stuff has gone on in order for it to be made, to be used, and then being at that moment of it being thrown away. And almost like at that moment when it's being thrown away, like if you can then catch that moment and then like represent that moment, then suddenly like it exposes like that, that whole kind of history in front of it. I don't think I've quite answered the question. But I think like, you answered it beautifully. I answered it differently. differently. There's a, a sort of stratified layer of um, moments of being and each of which contains all sorts of possibilities of ideas. And then there's the thrown away thing. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, uh, and also, and also, like, it is quite self-consciously an art, an art object. You know, it it is sort of aware of. I, 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 for me, like, I do feel that 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 to make art is already to kind of take part in the in the language of of art. I, I'm I'm. In some respects, I, 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 art is made like within the 
it, within the terms of audience. Like it requires audience. And, and some kind of level of artistic memory, even if amongst the audience that level is up and down. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean obviously, I don't necessarily, I, I don't need the audience to be able to tell me the names of the artists yeah. and be it's able to recall the, the audience. It's not a yeah. test of the audience. It, it's, it's literally the fact that I do believe that, that art has had a, a significant effect on everybody's life to the point like where, where supermarkets and the, and the streets are designed in such a way that it, it, it carries with it the information that mm. people have learned through through art and so even if you don't have any first hand experience i think everybody's got second sort of second hand experience yeah yeah from subliminal to directly thinking uh -huh, yeah. I, yeah. I know I what mean, you mean i mean i do i do like the i like the idea that that maybe there's an element of my work which is which is a which has a sort of which has a sort of surrealism about it i that what it does is it sort of is it is it represents the you know the home or it's it, it, it's it's like the the, uh, the you know it's like you make it you make the you recreate the familiar mm -hmm. um, but in such a way that 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 you that you instantaneously see the familiar and also uh, and also, like, uh, shock, uh, shocked and yes. hor horrified, horrified by thinking, yeah. oh, my God, this is, is this where I live? You know, is this... So it's sort Very of like, this, it. yeah. like, you know, this kind of strange, yeah. twisted, twisted sense of... It, it, and it is quite similar to the idea of saying, like, you, you know, you, you see this, you think you know what it is. Yeah. But it, it, but it isn't. It's something else. And I think that, like, that idea of everything being not is quite important like like i think you know like if i come back to the way that often i use my own my own image in my work it i i find myself saying well i've used it to not be the work that you you know so that you immediately recognize that it's not the work that you thought it was so when your so image <laughs> appears in your work the <laughs> the questioning that's going on uh, is multi-leveled it's partly about well this is not me, as in this is not a pipe, and this yeah. is not two uh, beer cans. Uh, and it's partly a, a questioning of how art is ever read. You talked about a sort of mm. subliminal, sort of sedimented art knowledge mm. that everyone more or less has, even if they're not necessarily conscious of it, and even if they're not necessarily interested in digging deep about it. Mm. But if one does start to examine it, uh, I suppose there are two phases. One is where you overcome anxiety of bafflement, where you yeah. think, oh, at last I know where such and such fits in the history of art. And then if you pursue it a bit more, you say, well, does it, how does it fit like that? There's the authority of the history of art. And then there's my own perception mm -hmm. and my, uh, the, the experience and questioning that mm -hmm. I'm able to bring to it, mm -hmm. which in some cases leads one to read a bit more about that moment mm -hmm. and find out how, how this sort of... <laughs> To, in order to get rebaffled, mm. perhaps, as it were. Mm. But you, uh, a few minutes ago, you mentioned, I think, two slightly different things, as if they were continuous for you. Uh, at least I heard them in this way. And that was, on the one hand, Jasper Johns's painted beer cans mm -hmm. and um, Magritte's This Is Not A Pipe. Mm -hmm. And I, for me, on the other, an idea of Boyce and energy. Mm. You could say that they're all about transformation in a way, but mm. I would think of the first two as being very fundamentally about mm -hmm. a question of perception mm -hmm. uh, and, and all, other, all other richness of content flows mm -hmm. from that perception mm -hmm. question mark. Mm -hmm. Whereas with Boyce, one is thinking about um, a question of symbolism, you know, transformation of mm -hmm. very base materials. Mm -hmm in terms of some yeah. Jungian, yeah. humanistic yeah, idea. Yeah, so it's so so they Jung, seem and, like, yes. Jung and Freud. Uh, Jung and Yang, to, but they together. seem, yes, Jung exactly, and, they seem Jung like two different things. Yeah. Jung on the one hand and Freud on the other, it's yeah. very good, yeah. yeah. And, and so, which brings up the question of contrasts between one thing and another, one type of art and another type of art, and how those contrasts are experienced by you, since a, a lot of your work, or a fundamental theme of your work, has been mm. bringing together things that mm. didn't ought to be together. Mm. I don't know if uh, that's come out 
as a coherent question. I think, I think the question would be more like, how do you see the divide between Freud on the one hand and, and Jung on the other, if that's a way of putting it? Um, of perception issues on the one hand and, and uh, transformation issues and energy issues mm. on the other. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I don't know the answer. I, I, I think that, 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 that this, is, this is actually someone else's quote. But it's like, to be an artist, you have to be a combination of two things. One is, uh, one is you, you, um, you have to be clever enough to have an idea. And then the other is you have to be stupid enough to go ahead and make it into something. And see it through stage by stage and, in a flooding and, and so, way. And so, and so basically that, that there is a kind of, that there is, that, that there is a, a point at which like the, the actual process of transforming things, of making things, of, mm -hmm. of being involved in, the, in, that, in this transformation mm. um, is sort of, is obviously part of and becomes part of what I enjoy and want to deliver, uh, want to show, but then at this, what I want to work with. But then at the same time, obviously, there's a point that comes before it, which is more sort of architectural and more sort of symbolic and more like a kind of um, unattached mm -hmm. sort of symbolic kind of taking off the shelf of things. I, 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 I mean, I, I thought you were going to say there's a I point where the, the I first idea muddled, is quite ordinary. I, 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 and then I started it well, but I'm muddled out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, basically, I, I suppose I, I carry around in my head a lot, mm. a lot, of, a lot of kind of like half-baked ideas. Mm. And, um, and at some point some other some new idea will come along or maybe even the half-baked ideas will sort of shift around mm. and then they'll connect together and seemingly um make something that that i i i need to, i feel the need to make in those and terms could you apply those terms to the work that another work that's in the fair at the moment that mm -hmm. some of us will have seen that uh appears to be a pistoletto mm -hmm. uh, but then there's something mm -hmm. slightly different about it and one mm -hmm has to pause a bit to realize what it is, and that's the image of the bin bags. Mm -hmm. Could you unpack that work um, in the terms that you were just using, perhaps? I, I suppose it's, sort of, I suppose it's sort, of a sort of quotations and sort of, uh, I'm sort of quoting, sort of quoting from my own book and then quoting from someone else's book, mm -hmm. looking at the idea of, of um, a kind of hybrid art form which 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 somehow deals with the idea of editing and like what you know what how we know what to keep or what to what to throw away uh, mm. and, and what we give uh, priority to and what uh, and it's away. and obviously it's mirror so obviously you know and that, this is the, the another guy isn't it like Lacan it's more like it's more sort of um this idea of like a reflection upon a reflection upon something mm. um, and maybe that thing you know might be my career or it might be um, art per se or it might be um, it you know it or it might not be why Pistoletto and not say Jasper Johns's mirror in in that painting souvenir the car mirror since a, a mirror would work for what you've um, just said but why Pilis, Pistoletto in particular uh, I, I think that I was trying to again like draw on a, a draw on um, an idea of an art form in that was being made a European art form of the 60s which which was um, which was leading the in a way it was leading the world into a point where 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 thought in a way like thought itself like became became almost like a kind of a commodity it was almost like there was a there was a point at which like um, there was a point at which the and I and I suppose it sort of refl it was reflected, I suppose, in the com in the way that computers arrived, whereby um, whereby 
that, you know, in, in uh, California, like a lot of high thinkers that ended up in San Francisco, or whatever, like, uh, ended up like, and they were, they were you know, th th these were the people that were going to change the world. And in the end, they, they just got into computers or they, or they got stoned and, and sort of like lost the plot. I mean, this was a, there was a point at which like a kind of, a kind of revolution was going to take place and it, and it never, and it never quite happened. Um, or it didn't happen in the way that, that, that perhaps it might, perhaps it might happen now. So your feeling about Pistoletto is as I much... As, I don't know, I'm trying, I suppose... I it's suppose as much about his work well, as it, his position of, I, in I art history. It, uh, yeah, it's his position in art history, but or, or it's kind of... Or it, Yeah, I mean, it was, mm. it's, sort of, it's sort of... It's sort of... I mean, it, it's also because of the mirror, mm. um, which, is a, which is a sort of... A, which is actually like an important kind of recurring theme within mm. my work. But, but also, like, yeah, I, I think it's, it, it's about the way that Arte Povera... Um, art tries to get in contact with uh with audience the way the way that it the way that mm. it, it 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 sees itself being born out of the audience mm. and being for for an audience it's it's it tries to sort of like uh devolve the idea of the the sort of like the high high hierarchy i see of, of, i see of, why of that art. would be urgent for you your yeah. interest in how readability you know yeah okay um yeah i mean i i, I like readability is a sort of is an interesting thing because obviously like like i i do think that it's it's i do think it's my job to to make work which is accessible and readable but then at the same time i know that it always ends up being much more complicated than that. <laughs> um, it always ends up being that that it that the reading of it is 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 not straightforward. It's it's uh, yeah. I think um, throughout uh, the images that have been going by, uh, um, one sees sometimes things. We know, when we know that that's made out of bronze. Uh, we could say that that's a work which has a very direct reading and it almost doesn't need any more. You think, wow, that's amazing. Uh, and then there are other works that are f much more subtle. Yeah. And yet each of them has possible further layers of meaning or possible resonances. So whether the work is relatively directly readable, almost to the point of bombastic, yeah. or, or whether the work is very, very quiet and diffident and creeps up on you, each has an equal amount of echoes and resonances and i and i suppose it it for me it does feel like when i make a new a new piece of art i'm i'm possibly changing my the previous works that i've made i'm sort of you know i'm possibly affecting the way that people might understand the works that i've made before yeah so so it's like it, it's like the 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 over is still kind of um, is still change is sort of changeable. Yes. It's not actually the, like the paint is still not quite dry. It's still yeah. kind of it's like, if you go you like can that, move things around. you can mess it all up. Yeah, but uh, actually, also at the same time, like I may be, I may be making it better. You know, I may be like you know, f uh, um, you know, as you make a bit of art, you kind of create a load of problems mm. and 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 you solve and you solve some things at the same time so it's a bit like um like when you make um a a, a dam with sand uh, you know like where where the where the water comes in and 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 it's running back into the sea and you 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 put sand to try and create a sort of a dam and you stop and then the water goes off over there but after a while it starts going through there and so you put a bit more sand there and then you put a bit more sand there and then the water starts going over there and so you're just sort of using sand to kind of uh, make something Good metaphor. <laughs> so it's the flow of materials, <laughs> the flow of ideas that make up your work. Yeah, something like that. I think it's interesting that the self in your work is a material rather than uh, well, maybe as well as, as well as, here am I, and I am asserting it, it, myself. It, it, 
but and also the, it's a material of the self and it's a public kind of art <coughs> rather than a private art. Yeah, and, and, and the, the idea of the self is, is, sort of the idea, is sort of the idea of the self as well. Like, like, I, like, if I'm in my work, it's sort of like, why do you put yourself in your work? Well, is that me? I, I, I'm sort of, I'm in my work and I'm not in my work or, and I'm in my work. It's, 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 it's the, the idea of the self is, a, is, a, is a, in a way an art idea. And, 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 it, and I suppose it, it's, it, it is in the idea of like, well, how do and why do artists make work now? What, what, what you know, how, how does this work? I mean, if you go out into the fair and you look round, now you have a situation where the, the artworks on the stall, on the stalls, stalls? Is that right? <laughs> the stands. The stands and the stalls. The stalls, yeah. 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 Um, they, they, they sort of, they lead you back to the philosophies of the artists. They're not, they're not just simply portraits of, of the king and queen or the noble people. Or the, it's not simply kind of like they're not, they're, they, in a way, like the, 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 the base article of art mm. is it leads you to the philosophy of the artist cr creator and so as when i have to take up that contract of being an artist like i have to kind of go well you know well how does that work in in my terms or how does that work with me or who am i in relationship to this to this audience are thing? your are your materials that makes sense yes it does make sense and, and i'm uh, i'm not acknowledging it because I don't think it makes sense, but because I've had a good idea, which is, are your materials always traditions which are in some sense over? I mean, are all your artists dead that you uh, use? Is it, 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 do you have a feeling that it's a tradition of modern <coughs> and, and maybe the edges of the modern which, and into the postmodern, which is in some way over? Yeah. So your yeah. experiment, as it were, is with a sort of set tradition. In it, within, within a... Questioning how set it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, I, you, don't, you, don't, well, they, you don't sample... Oh, Jasper Johns isn't dead. But. No, he's not, of course. He's quite right. Poor guy. He's totally alive. But, um, but, but you don't but sample of, Jeff Koons, I don't think. Have no. You, you don't no. sample Damien Hirst or no. Tracy Emin or... No. Uh, you know, current well, not, not figures. At, no, not at the moment. You sample a sort of illustrious tradition... That in, a, yeah, I suppose uh, you know the mistake about Johns is that one thinks of his great moments being the late fifties and the sixties, really. Yeah. I mean, I, I yes, I mean there is a the. It, it's not necessarily this isn't. I, I don't. It doesn't have to be like this, but basically, at the moment, um, like there there is. There is a point at which I think that I, I do generally gravitate towards, sort of, sort of, <laughs> I gravitate towards dead artists, yeah. like in as much as that, I can sense the oeuvre or something. I, I've got a, a feel of the, yeah. of the, of the, uh, you know, it's, it was what I was saying before about this moving this moving oeuvre, changing yeah. oeuvre. I think with yeah. living artists, it's much more difficult to, to, to kind of access that, the, 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 in a way, like the finality of it. Perhaps there has, be a, there has to be, there has to be, yes, some of the art of poverty artists, of course, are yeah. but I suppose in a way, there has to be some sense of definition about that I mean, I think work. that, no, but I also think, you know, probably like a lot of my, a lot of my, terms of engagement were to do with like that that kind of like that postmodern energy which had this whole kind of like um this sort of like art you know like art after you know after art yeah. or whatever it was called like yeah. the death of art or I, I mean i think that like a lot of, quite a lot of my kind of my theoretical engagement with art like is like within this sort of like postmodern culture which 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 somehow, which somehow has art in a, in a, in a, it has it in a, in a box, in a, in a, in a coffin somehow. Yeah, mm. that there is some, one feels like there's an anthology that perhaps could have all this art in it. And you're insidiously coming into that anthology and moving things around and 
inserting yourself in various weird ways that yeah i think i'm also just i, I think i am hopefully i'm sort of just enjoying it and mm. doing it sort of in a making way what about that childish word that i used at the beginning magical there's something magical about the figures being conjured up out of the smoke and then there's an mm. enjoyable mm. sort of notion of if not magic uh, a, a trick where the blast from the uh, car makes us better drawing mm. you know that that seems to there is a, a magic theme seems to run through your work and seems to cast the, the original moment in a slightly different light that mm. moment of Duchamp mm. and the urinal which is a sort of magic moment mm. of where everything outside could be the consideration mm. everything that wasn't art could be the consideration of course the mode of considering that could be all sorts of uh, there, there could be all sorts of ways of doing it scholarly or mm. uh, aesthetic or uh, profoundly serious or playful but in your case it almost seems like a conjuring trick you think that it's that Duchamp is a, a philosophical proposal an artistic proposal but also there's a certain conjuring element to it and it's not it doesn't run through yeah, all your work but it comes yeah. up now and then and it I seems mean, to be in the smoky yeah. figures that you've conjured well up, so. I mean I do I although I, I actually really like making things I sort of I don't I I also don't like being seen to make anything mm -hmm. I quite like the idea that it, it, it is like magic it's mm -hmm. like like you you do it without without actually having to do anything um, uh, and uh, and so I mean and this is a sort of I mean it, it is and it and it does probably come from the the idea of of, of art it, nothing as art yeah you know like and so i think that um you know the the idea of of air art yeah. air art or or yeah. like art as uh, manzoni's breath exactly or a, a exa question exactly or a proposal, i mean I, I, a non sequitur proposal exactly yeah. uh, i mean i i kind of you know i i think that 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 is the sort of the space between people and mm. and I, I suppose it's 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 a bit like um i remember when i was um being taught how to draw mm. being told that i should observe the space between the objects as closely as the objects themselves yes. and um and i think that in a way that that stuck so deep that actually what i'm more interested in is the space between the objects and the objects themselves although obviously i make a lot of objects but it, it's more about the space between the objects than the objects themselves somehow uh, it's a <laughs> it's a nice thought because actually that's what um if this is the right word because it probably isn't a convention anymore but for a long time the conventional thing that happened in art schools was that you were taught objective drawing and um, they, mm. as you say, they would say, don't just do the eyes and the eyelashes, but you know, do the big shapes and then narrow, get down to the small ones and think about the solids and the spaces. And, mm. the, and that way the thing will be more convincing. Mm. And when you refer to that sort of, now probably a place in some realm of nostalgia about art schools, when you refer to conventional arts training, it reminds me that there's, for all the idea richness of your work, there's also this making aspect that you are a, a sculptor in a way, a sort of, uh, mm. there's an old fashioned sort of mm. making man about you, as well as one who fires off ideas or, or yeah. is tolerant of sort of rather stoner ideas and then following that and making them precise and, and, and getting as much poetry out of those those ideas as possible yeah. but but my point is this um <laughs> you went to art school and you yeah i did, did yeah. art and I you were did, surrounded by people who were sort of striving away <laughs> doing a rather ordinary type of art and that does mean something to you that those old traditions yeah i i yeah i think i mean i i think that there is a way of using art E, as education, I, I, you know, I, I think it, I think it's a, I think it's a, I mean, I think that that they should use 
art should be used more. As I think you can learn everything in art. I think you can learn geography, history. I think you can learn everything, everything you want to learn. So, and I, I, I think that that school should be like basically art. Like that every, I think everyone should do rather than go in the army for a year. I think everyone should just go to art school. Um, you know, I think that should be made a law. And I, I think it's because like what's missing that they, that would help them. What. Going to art school instead right. of the army. Uh, in the for, army. For, for, why, why go to art school? Why, why would it help people to raise consciousness? Or yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. Because show them something different? Yeah, I, I think that they would, I think that people would learn something about themselves. What is the something? Um, I mean, it would be as different, it would be according to who they were, or there is a, a particular well, thing art school can offer? I, is there a particular thing? Yeah. No, I was, think, I was saying it was non, I was, I was saying possibly it's, non-particular I think yeah. you could learn anything or everything through art um, but um, why should they do it I, I you know I, I think that um, I think that everyone should should be a bit more existential I, you know I, I think that actually like people people our society would be improved by uh, you know by a, a larger amount of people that were more um, reflecting a, on the, their own more existence. Able, yeah, we're yeah. more able to yeah, reflect upon our existence, yeah. What about, I refer to it, and I'm never quite sure if I uh, utterly mean this, but I think there's a class <laughs> element to your work. Oh. It's not well, an accident that a homeless person appears, that sleeping bags and okay. bin liners yeah. and... Uh, yeah. One doesn't necessarily think of a Ferrari with the waste pipe. One thinks more of a, a white mm. van or something. Okay. Well, um, I mean, I, again, I, I just think that that's to do with me trying to deal with, re, you know, real, real, with the real. Yeah. Like it's like can't like like try and have an honest conversation about the real. Mm -hmm. I mean, what the. Like, what am I talking about? You couldn't. It wouldn't I mean, be very it's real, isn't it? It's so disqualified. It's so dishonest to like sit here, like in Basel, and talk about like an honest conversation about the real. But 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 weirdly enough, yes. I mean, I, I, unfortunately, yes. That's. Because I think that's. I think that's what I'm. What I'm actually trying to do. I'm trying to figure out like what is, what is real. In the imagined anthology of art that perhaps your work draws on or disturbs somehow. The, the social possibly doesn't play a great role. I mean, it might come in in 1968 or something. It sort yeah. of pops up and goes down again, pops up and goes down again. Uh, I suppose it's part, one could say, or it appears to me, that it's part of your experiment. I mean, you, you know, there's so, but there's, like, if we talk about the social, you know, it is, it is kind of un, it's sort of unfortunate or fortunate that, that, that art is something which is sustained and maintained by very few people who have the who have the sort of financial access to be able to kind of keep it to keep it going yeah. um and uh and it, and in a way artists are making art for for the for not not only for for this audience for a wide you know for a wider audience for a for a, um, for a, you know, for a, I don't want to say, I, I mean, I feel awkward about using the idea of working class, but, but for, for an audience that doesn't almost even have time, that doesn't even almost have time to, to even look, to even look at the art, like, like to even have the, they don't have the, they don't have the, um, they haven't, been, they haven't done their one year of foundation, like art foundation course. But they, but they, you know, they don't even have the time, they can't afford the time to even look at the art. And I suppose it's sort of like about trying to come to terms with that as well as an artist. So it's not, um, if, it, if it plays a role, it, if autobiography plays a role, it's yeah. not the main 
purpose. It's, you know, when uh, you don't say, well, here I am, I, I don't necessarily come from the middle class. I don't necessarily come from the upper middle class, which would be, which would naturally expect to have been informed about art yeah. in the time I was growing up. Um, I, I it, think doesn't, just, it, doesn't, it doesn't end up having that statement in your work. It, it, I think that it's just... Um, it, it, yeah. Uh, I, it, it just feels... It just felt and it feels like the right place for me to stand in order to make my work, which is from a kind of... Which is from, hopefully, a, a kind of a common a common place. Yeah. Like I'm a common man. I think that's a very good, it's a very good way of thinking about it when a lot of these ideas could be considered quite esoteric. It's quite good the confidence that you have with juggling um, f finely refined, almost precious notions that come from an intellectual history of art with very, very direct and graspable matter. Um, I'm aware that uh, we got that, a five minute then. Well, in this five minutes, there is an audience got a out three there. Minutes. This, these three minutes, Joseph. Uh, everyone can ask a question, but this gentleman's going to ask one first. Um, the, the, the question goes to Matthew. Uh, question goes to Matthew. Um, given that one could say, or at least I would argue, that Gavin's work constitutes a kind of ontological quest. Don't you find it problematic to refer to it as sculpture as you did? Which sort of, yes, it's a, a very good question. Yeah. You pull Kant out of the sculpture, you just have an object. Uh, so cool. why don't we just call it an object? Yes, it's a very good, very good question. Uh, why do I do that? I suppose because uh, um, the fact is that uh, the range and variety of objects that Gavin has made doesn't necessarily lead one to say, therefore it is sculpture uh, and at every step the works always seem to contain a testing of any idea of genre and form so that even if the sampled artist is designated a sculptor a sculptor uh, the work made from it might not necessarily be answering to sort of in quote sculptural requirements so you're quite right to pick me up on that and, and I absolutely agree that they, they are works about existential questioning and not about medium specificity. Yes, gentlemen at the front there. So the question is, the question is for Gavin. Uh, just looking at your slideshow, it seems like you give a lot of thought to the title of your pieces of work. Uh, so the question for you is, how important do you think the title is apart from the actual piece of work itself? How much time do you give to think about what title should I give the work? And the second part of the question is, do you have any work that is untitled? I haven't made a work called Untitled yet. No, I'm waiting for the right time. What's um, that one with your arm down, the thing? It's got the word title in the title, isn't it? What, the one with the arm in the yeah, jar? I think yeah. it's called Gavin Turk, Right Hand and Forearm. Or oh, OK, I don't know why I'm, I'm thinking that... I must, no. Yeah. Um, None of your I, works have I, the word title. Well, basically, the thing is, well, like, when you make a, a, an artwork, it, it will get given a title anyway. So, so you, might as well, uh, you might as well think about it. Um, not only you might as well think about it, like, actually, what you can do with the title is you can actually, like, push... You can push the work further into the place that you want it to go to. So... And sometimes I just, and sometimes I just, um, I, 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 don't, I, I do generally make the thing. I, I, I've, I don't think that there's anything that I've thought of the title before the work. But, um, but I made a, I did actually make a big, a, 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 a two, three and a half meter bronze door which is which is uh, in a door frame open and uh, it, it was called large door and uh, l apostrophe a g e d apostrophe o r the golden age um, and it, i got worried that people might think that i thought of the title before the sculpture but but uh, 
I don't know. I mean, like, it, I think the titles um, are that they 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 will be there. So 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 you know, it, it, it it's interesting as well. I mean, I like the play. I like to play I with. Think the short answer is the title is part of the work. The title. And out of, out of having Talk to him. The object. He's, my, he's my new agent. <laughs> <laughs> the title is part of the work. It's one of the bits of the work. It's Thanks. certainly true that the titles make a lot of difference, or they have a very uh, pleasurable, playful connection to the drawings upstairs, or the, the uh, shapes made yes. on paper laid on canvas Thank upstairs. <laughs> There's um, no time left, but uh, even in no time, although this is impossible, Somebody could ask an urgent question and we could answer it. Even in no time. Just shout it out. Yes. Um, it's an urgent question. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, my name is Hugo. And with the piece, uh, the, bin, the bin bag piece, the pistoletta thing, how do you think pistoletta would perceive that piece? Because uh, would he see it as mocking? Or I, would he see it as a... I don't know. I don't know. I think he's sort of infinity plus. I don't know. I don't know. I hope he likes. I hope he likes it. I don't know. Um, even though we haven't got any more time, <laughs> I th I think it is quite interesting that you t are quite cheeky. I mean, obviously you like these artists. You s you're quite tasteful in your choice, but you know, simply to do anything at all to another artist's work is quite cheeky. I think that's right. I think that's what art's there for. That's why you make art. I mean, if, if everybody takes all my ideas and takes all my art and remakes it, like, it's great. Do it. Just do it. It's brilliant. I, I mean, do it. Bring it on. I mean, I'm not going to take you to court or anything. Why but... don't you take on your Stewart concert? Yeah, come on, bring her on. <laughs> I mean, I think that's... I, I, I think that's why it's there. I mean, it, I think it's there. I think art is there to be used. You know, it's there to, it's there to, to, to play with. It's it's part of the language. It's part of my language. It's it's it's, it's one of the materials. Other art is part of my one of my materials. You speak so well. I just want to keep getting people to ask questions so we can keep it going. But a man is making the, the universal gesture of cut off Gavin Tuck's head. Tea was it? time. No. Of tea of time. To end the talk. So thank you very much, everybody. You. But mainly, thank you very much, Gavin. Thank you. And thank you. Gavin's uh, books are uh, this book that's just been published is available, oh, and he is happy to sign them uh, if you would like him to do so on the other side of the door here. Oh, where, where's it going to happen? Is Here, that right? Up on the table? Anyone know? We don't know. Uh, no? Outside. Where's Claire? Where? Outside. outside. Outside there. Outside. Outside. Just outside there. Thank you very much, Gavin. Thank you.